Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So recently a message was sent to me over Instagram in regards to a police officer by the name of Jeremy Kirvin. Occasionally people will send me messages by Instagram. If you're interested or you have a tip, I can't guarantee I'm going to do a video on that person, but I will definitely take a look. And they said that this officer got in trouble for a DUI. So I thought that might be interesting to take a look at. So this was out of Clearwater Police Department. This individual's name is Jeremy Kirvin. And this is actually a picture of him uh, regarding a 2016 Public Safety and Service Award. So this is with the Clearwater Police Department closed internal affairs cases. And this is dated July 21st, 2022, so fairly recently. So under the allegation we have, it was alleged on April 21st, 2022, while off-duty in Oldsmar, Officer Jeremy Kirvin was operating a vehicle while impaired, refused SFST and breath test, subsequently being arrested for driving under the influence. Now, it looks like this charge was sustained, as well as a misdemeanor here. It looks like they placed him on administrative leave. In accordance with progressive discipline guidelines, Officer Kirvin received a five-day suspension. I don't know, that seems a little weak to me. You have a police officer off-duty driving his vehicle, and he got a DUI, and he only got a five-day suspension. I'm pretty sure most people would be in jail for that time, and perhaps longer. I guess it works a little differently with the police. Well, at least in Clearwater. Now, that's not the only issue regarding Jeremy Kirvin. On the same date, it says the allegation is that Officer Kirvin submitted timesheets. This is 426-2022 and 527-2022. Officer Kirvin submitted timesheets to indicate he was working during certain times when he was not working. The appropriate general order for the allegation is as follows. And it talks about falsifying reports and that charge was sustained. Now, under discipline, it says, in accordance with progressive discipline guidelines, Officer Kirvin resigned in lieu of termination. So I'm guessing he probably wasn't terminated for this investigation and maybe for the other one, at least I hope. I mean, this is falsifying reports, which isn't by any means good. That's essentially stealing. But this right here is a DUI. So Maybe it was a culmination of both incidents and he just decided to resign. So I then did a search with the Pinellas County case search, and I'll also put that link in the description. I did all case records search, and I came across this case right here, State of Florida vs. Jeremy Fletcher Kirvin. And looking at the complaint, this is what I found. Now, obviously, I'm going to blur out some of this information, like the driver's license number and the address and telephone and such, but we have Jeremy Fletcher Kirvin, date of birth, June 29th, 1981. Male, white, 250 inches, height, weight, 5'11". Wait, no, that can't be. I'm assuming somebody mixed that up a little bit. Probably height, 5'11", and weight, 250. Hair brown, eyes hazel. We have an address in Palm Harbor, Florida. And uh, let's see here, telephone number, place of birth, Ohio. Employed by Clearwater Police. So it says the reason for stop is basically what we read, that it was a DUI. Balance, swaying, eyes glassy, watery, and bloodshot. Defendant refused field sobriety test. It says the defendant was operating a 2015 Ford truck bearing Florida tag redacted on the roadway in Pinellas County. The defendant was stopped for no tag lights, and during the stop, the strong and distinct odor of an alcoholic beverage was emanating from the defendant's breath. The defendant's eyes were glassy, watery, and bloodshot, and he admitted to consuming beer prior to the stop. The defendant had four clues of HGN, was swaying while standing, and continued to have a strong and distinct odor of an alcoholic beverage emanating from his breath. The defendant refused to perform SFSTs, and post Miranda refused to speak with me. The defendant refused to provide any breath samples at Central Breath Test, even after being read implied consent. The defendant allowed the intoxilizer to time out both time. Looks like he got a $500 bond. Now, I also found here a Florida DUI uniform traffic citation. This was 421-2022, p.m. Goes over his information again. We have a driver's license number. Also found this, the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office. Uh, this is the charge report, and uh, that's really it on the court record. I don't see anything else that shows whether he was found guilty or anything like that. Uh, you can certainly check back with Pinellas County. Maybe there's a court date that's set for the future, but it doesn't look like it showed anything about whether he was uh, guilty or not guilty or whatever. Let's see what he's doing right now. So I just did an Indeed resume search, and I found this. This was actually updated less than a week ago at the time of this recording. August 10th, 2022, Jeremy Kirvin, Palm Harbor, Florida. Now, it shows police officer, City of Clearwater Police Department, January 2013 through December 2022. I think he has those dates a little mixed up. I don't know if it's from the alcohol or what, but it looks like in July, he actually uh, resigned being a police officer. So that's a five month difference right there. But then again, he does have the falsifying report. So 
I guess a resume isn't too far off from that. We also have City of Columbia Police Department, January 2005 through December 2012. At least these are the dates according to him. We have him as an intern, Virginia Beach Police Department, and United States Marshal Service also as an intern. Bachelors of Science in Sociology, Associate Degree in Criminal Justice, Social Science, and General Studies. Now, under his certifications and licenses, there's certainly a lot of certifications here. One that I found interesting is the Advanced Driving While Impaired Certification. Maybe he fell asleep during that class, I don't know. Either way, that about covers it. I thought it was interesting to look at this officer and what became of him after the DUI. Uh, if you're interested in suggesting anyone to me, feel free to submit that in the comments or send me an email, which is in the About section of my YouTube channel. And again, I'll put that link in the discussion. If you are interested in seeing more about city officials, police officers, I am having an interest in doing that. So maybe looking at some that didn't quite get the type of consequence that you or I might get not being a police officer. So if you are interested in that topic and you do want to see more, definitely let me know in the comments.